Chris, get out of the way, Chris. You blocking me inside of here is not solving any issues. If anything, it's causing more of them. Chris, I don't appreciate this. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, baby. Oh, yeet. Oh, my God, I'm starting to smell so bad. Oh, yeet. Oh, let's go. episode last day on earth and welcome ladies and gentlemen boys and girls to two incredible pieces of news i got coming your way number one the next stage of the antidote and subsequently season 14 is open deja vu we are going to be exploring this and what apparently chris has with testing out his new dissolver weapon that might be what we saw in the trailer i am super freaking hyped to go ahead and check that out but also i have great news to share as y'all can see we are back on our android ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the update is officially out for android bless up about time so without further ado i think y'all already know where i stand on this i am so freaking hyped for the shenanigans of today i to be going down travis how are you feeling pretty excited but also pretty hungry <laughs> Love to hear it, Mr. Turtle Man. And of course, how does it go, my pointy stick can go? We got our work cut out for us today. So without further ado, let's go and get into it. And as we are getting to it, if y'all are excited for the shenanigans of what is going to be going on, if you want to do your part to help a battle against this infection, I need you to, to contribute to researching the cure. By hitting the like button, it, the, the YouTube has done this crazy update where it is now linked to, to researching the virus. The more people that click the like button, the more likely we are to fix this uh, awful apocalypse, you know? So I'm just trying to help with science and stuff like that. And hello, the spores spread at a terrifying rate. It's a good thing this village seems uh, to be abandoned. So right next door to this little outpost, we have the brand new infected village location. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can we get some hype? for what is going to be awaiting us inside the second of the new seasonal locations. And from what we saw in the trailer, I think there's gonna be some sort of a big bad boss man awaiting us in here, which is a little bit terrifying. So we'll be seeing what all them shenanigans are all about as we enter. And uh, there is Chrissy boy. How you doing there, bucko? Finally some fun. Watch my back while I'm checking the prototype. Dude, look at that thing. That thing is sick. What exactly is this thing going to do? It is, oh my God, let's go! Dude, he looks like the freaking exterminator. No, I, I, I have a roach infested. I'm, 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 I'm calling Chris. Chris is going to fumigate my home, dude. What is this? <laughs> oh, no, stay away from that. What the, I'll grab a sample for Ava and you stay away from that thing for the time being. Dude, Chris literally is out. Oh my God, is that how we're gonna be able to open those things? Or do I, do I need to protect them while he's doing this over here? Uh, no, I don't know. He, he got it his own thing. That's interesting what's going on. I hope there won't be any more surprises in the village. Let's go and check it out. Well, all right, man. You had me always following me around now. Let's go, my dude. Shall you? Let's go. Dude, I'm just going to have Chris do all of our heavy lifting. Look at this man go. Although I'm not going to lie. That does not seem to be like that powerful weapon. It does like eight damage a second, dude. That is like a little baby minigun. It's like a minigun that farts. I'm a little bit disappointed, but I, it still seems kind of cool. Can I have one? Chris? Please? Okay, well, he walked away. I, I am going to take that as a sign uh, for no. Before we go into the village, though, let's just go ahead and actually continue exploring on the outskirts of things. Let's continue letting Chris have his little shine over here while we just go ahead and do a little loop de loop bam pull. And the zombies are looking dead. Do do. Uh, anything over on this side? Actually, a river. Okay, kind of cool. But ah, dang it. I was trying to stay away from that. But nonetheless, man, that's still kind of cool to see Chris. Like, I mean, I, I wish it did more damage, but I'll take it. Yeah. Ow. Hokey dokey though, without further ado, we do have the village that we need to enter into. Again, these things continue farting all over the place. What is this over here? I need to, I need to bring a hatchet to chop this stuff down. It's already heads up for all of y'all out there. If and when you do head to this location, make sure that you are prepared and bring with you some hatchetry. We're gonna go back and grab a little bit of that, but uh, definitely wanna be coming prepared on that side of things but for now we'll, we'll go ahead and pop open all these things a little bit later no worries for now we'll continue getting a little bit of work done over here with our boy chris who's trying to help out as much as he can there we have a little spore mound I definitely want to take that out before we get any closer who do we have over here oh my god that's a big boy how you doing spore spreader jeez jump you dude you have a big hole in your stomach 
you might want to get that checked out. It's like freaking branching out of that dude. I gotta say, encountering some of these new zombies and stuff, this is actually super freaking cool. Like, the design of all these new spore zombies is crazy. And I imagine the zombies waiting for us inside of the laboratory are gonna be a little bit similar, you know? And dude, you better give me one of those guns, Chris, man. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to get my hands on one of those things. And I want to get my hands on some of these chests inside of these places. For now, just continue mowing these fellas down. Chris is a bit of a slow book. Little bit of a slow bro, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of work done while we await him. Oh, hello, Shambler! How you doing, Jeepaliba? That is one big hulking thing. Let's all end up with a little bit of a slow mo. Y'all can see it actually appears to be a little bit armored. Chris's attacks are only doing about five damage a hit to the fella, but that's more than enough to take the schmuck down. It doesn't drop anything too crazy, but still all things that we do want to get our hands on because all of these, if y'all do recall, are going to be used directly in the construction of gas grenades, the secret weapon that uh, is of season 14 that absolutely murks these dudes. I actually, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I should have freaking brought some gas grenades with us. That would have been a cash money move. We'll go ahead and do that next time though we clear out this location because actually that'll be a perfect experiment against, uh, against the shambler. Because the shambler, oh, we got a nice little group of zombies over here. I should definitely bring like a shotgun rain or something. The sham, oh, we got a person. Look at that. What's up? How long you been stuck in there? Your, your hair turned gray. You don't look like the infected. Have you isolated the sewer entrance? The sewer entrance? All right, we did it ourselves, but it was too late. That's where the spores came from. The spores came from the sewers? Samantha, Ginny, and now everyone else know I need to keep working. Dude, hold up. Is this the village from like season seven? I'm going to the port and you please to try to stay alive. Dude, I, I literally think that this is the abandoned village from season seven. <gasps> Baloo! Where is Baloo? Ba oh, we got another shambler coming away. Hold on. Chris, get out of the way. Chris, you blocking me inside of here is not solving any issues. If anything, it's causing more of them. Chris, I don't appreciate this. How big of a hitter is he? Oh, okay. Actually, was not hit too hard. The shambler, a little bit of a pushover. I thought he was going to be a freaking... I don't even know. I know, Jenny. I know. All in good time. I know that if I abandon my research, there'll be even more letters like this in the world. I know that I miss you more and more with each passing day. I know I shouldn't, but sometimes I just dot, dot, dot. Spooky. Dude, again, Chris, you have locked me inside of here. This is what... This is ridiculous. Chris, thank you. Thank you for moving, kind sir. Chris. You got, you got to stop this nonsense, man. <laughs> Okie dokie though, let's craft up some of these hatchets because uh, I think it goes without saying, it's definitely a resource you are going to want and need. Why do they have cages here? Uh, are those Baloo's cages? Or dude, you, again, you're dude, Chris is the worst, man. I'm sorry, Chris. You got a cool freaking fart gun. I'll give you that. But like, besides that, you're a little bit of a poop right here. Okay, okay. Glad that we could establish that. What's inside of here? Let's go. And we could be expecting some voils from this stuff. Love to see it. And some more crate stuff. I do love how we actually get all sorts of crate materials from knocking out this stuff. Chris, there you go. Get out the way. I am not getting locked in the house with Chris, dude. Talk about sus. Over here, we got just normal old spore runners. Dude, this is literally, I think, the abandoned village from uh, season seven. That is the vibes I'm getting. What up, spore spreader? How you doing? How hard of a hitter are you? Oh my god, he's a heavy hitter. He farts all over the place. How deadly is that? Okay, it's a little bit deadly. Not super deadly. Shout out to you and your freaking fart gun over there helping out. Well, this is not what I had mind. There's much work to be done on the prototype. See you again. Yeah, there is. It does like eight damage per hit, dude. Make that thing deadly. Chiba Lima. Little bit of a pushover, I must say. But all right, we still got the rest of this village to check. <gasps> Hold up, you get a fish here? I can't catch that fish with a fishing pole. I need a grenade. Oh, Hold up, look at those abominations swimming around in here. Dude. I am like, I am pretty sure this is the village from ye olden times. Is this is like, like, is this, this is, I think this is the, the house of the person who tamed Baloo, no? Is there like a little, little chain that Baloo was like attached to? Ah, no, there's farts. Plenty of farts though. And what is this over here? That looks like a gun chest. Dude, please tell me there's going to be guns inside. Nah. I was about to say that'd be suspiciously nice for this location, but there literally is a gun on top of there. And that kind of looks like a new gun. That kind of looks like the MP5 for multiplayer. So I'm not going to lie. I would not mind getting a new gun in single player in the form of the MP5. So uh, please, I would happily take that. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, let's go to continue checking out the rest of these locations and seeing... Not the rest of the locations. Well, the rest of the location. We still got a few of these little houses we can go ahead and break into with the magic of this stuff. I, 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 oh, hold up. I don't think I read this over here. Vivian's note. There's nothing left for me here and the locals are always trying to steal something. I've arranged to have my stuff transported to New Haven. They say there are plenty of interesting trinkets to be found there. Is New Haven the port or 
Is this low-key a teaser for something bigger, dude? Hold up. This could be a teaser. Oh. Dude, New Haven, that sounds a little bit familiar. I don't think that's the port. Like, I don't know what's going on with New Haven there. That sounds very familiar, though. And that could definitely be a teaser of some kind of a new location uh, coming our way uh, sometime uh, shortly. Dude, I love the way that these seasons are starting to kind of, like, interconnect and build on each other. Because I'm, like, almost positive this is from the uh the thingy majig the 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 season of the abandoned village which i believe to be a season a seven all right and we got some more stuff happily be taking those terrain maps i do love how we do get a little bit of terrain maps as well from doing our shenanigans here definitely some solid stuff awaiting us man i think we should be able to clear out this location again by the way uh because the first time you clear it out is the story version and then there's another version after that that does respawn as get it happily go ahead and collect some of those and we should be able to bring some gas grenades with us and see just how potent they are against everybody and earth time but for now, let's go and boop our way into this little room. Another hatchet is broken, and we're looting up a desk this time. What's inside of the desk, baby? Eh, nothing that really fancies my attention too much at the moment. We have this house. Oh, we got a little person over here. Yeah, here we got, like, the boathouse and stuff. What up, Spore Runner? How you doing? I'm gonna make sure to kill you next to me so I don't have to endure the farts of that thing. Oh, speaking of which, we also have unlocked the second phase of the goodies ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we can now get all of this stuff because uh, once you complete the second mission over here these things become attainable uh, from collecting samples and all that jazz little boathouse here does not really have anything and okie dokie with that i do believe that is the new location cleared out in its entirety and like i again like i'm saying i'm 99 sure this is actually from season seven which is really cool to see this kind of like making its return and dude this is like it literally says that that's like a doorway like I, something's gonna be going on with this little path over here like seriously whatever's going on with the season there's so many like different like little mysteries sprinkled in like a few little easter eggs referencing old seasons it's kind of really cool to see things finally starting to culminate and come together a little bit i wonder if maybe at the port we might be able to see a few of like I, that that one military guy said he was going to the port so we're gonna go to the port really quickly oh we should be able to get some quests from ava as well but then we're gonna revisit this location here because we should actually be able to do that also for the sake of science i haven't done this yet but i do actually want to auto clear the outpost uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a bit of a run too and see exactly what goodies we are getting ideally we get some vials and brains and stuff like that to go ahead and build up some more gas grenades and put them to the test at the village i think that that would actually be very uh, very cool so without further ado let's go and do exactly that what's awaits us 275 samples that y'all can see we getting some brains we getting some vials it costs three rations to do this so you can repeat it three times uh, per response cycle and thank you i'll be taking those off your hands there, Mr. Outpost. And as we make our entrance, we can see Chris having a convo here. So it turns out the rumors are true. We need samples from the new type of spore zombies. Ooh, la gasp. Our walk in the village gave me an idea, but tweaking the prototype will take uh, some time. Dun, dun, dun. Don't let the infection spread beyond the village and keep an eye on the barrier. We'll get back to it later. So I think that's the thing that we like kind of poked at at the beginning of that village run that on the radar said that like it opened up into a new area. So I think the way that things are going to unfold is that that fumigator, that freaking uh, e exterminator Chris over here, you know, went to go and like clear out a house, you know, get get rid of a roach infestation, you know, get rid of some bed bugs. That's literally what that thing looked like it was for. Uh, yeah, we can't keep up with how the infestation is progressing. Chris's device needs work. The antidote creation process slowed down and no one knows what to do with that barrier. So indeed so it does actually look like the antidote creation process has slowed down a little bit we are now only up to 37 percent so it might take a few days before we go ahead and unlock the next leg called nowhere to run that i imagine is going to unlock the newest location before ultimately perfect circle happens and it makes sense by the name of that quest we come perfect we, we come full circle you know what started this all opening the laboratory and i could see this being ultimately what gets the laboratory open again and unlocks the shenanigans that do await us but in the meantime we still got uh, some shenanigans to do some level ups on the battle pass to get done and we actually do have some quests over here we can take from ava to kill shamblers spore spreaders and then infected trees these two are a little bit on the new side i'll go ahead and take the shambler quest because we are going to be revisiting the location we were just at but first ladies and gentlemen boys and girls <laughs> we got uh, some stuff we would like to craft. Yes, yes, that is exactly what we would like it to do. I would very much so enjoy 
some of these gas grenades. Why? <laughs> We really get to put them to the test in the infected village because this is where we are encountering zombies with over 200 health. And we're going to see just how powerful these things truly are. If these things can one hit like shamblers and stuff, dude, the, the value, the bang for your buck that you're going to be getting out of this is actually kind of nutty. But again, time will tell with that. Time will tell. So without further ado, let's make our way back on over there. And as we are doing that, then I want to go ahead and remind you all as well to be made... No, no, oh, English is hard. Go ahead and go to twitch.tv slash starslave. Link in the description and in the pinned comment where we are going to be live streaming every single Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Don't know what time that is in your own local time zone. Then you can also go to the other link in the description, twitch.tv slash starslave slash schedule. That will actually go ahead and let you know what time that it does start in your own local time zone. And then once you know once it starts, like the time it starts your own local time, one time, bada boom, bada bing. That's the time it starts every single freaking Friday, same time, same place, Twitch.tv slash Starslife. And you can also get some free stuff literally just by watching the stream. Every 30 minutes to watch the stream, if you actually go ahead, go into settings. You just got to do this once. So you can click this button, connect your Twitch account to last day on Earth. Then what happens is literally every 30 minutes of watching the stream with that Twitch account that you didn't connect, you have a chance to get some free stuff sent directly to your last day on Earth inbox, including things like coins, rations, mannequins for your decorating your base, crates from the store that otherwise cost money money you're gonna be able to go ahead and get some of those things like uh, for example over here the special forces pack speaking of examples we are gonna be showing up the reanimator and getting some fun with that done too but for example some crates like that some crates like the mechanics pack specialist pack etc etc so an awesome thing uh, to be doing and then on top of that this friday we're gonna be doing our season slash update bonus giveaway on top of it where all that you gotta do dies for one to die all that you gotta do is go ahead and make sure that you are watching the stream and then throughout the stream we're gonna be picking five winners each of which I can't wait to be, 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 be getting to the other side of you here, Mr. Strange, Strange Infection. This thing is going to be destroyed, I tell you. And when that, that does happen, make sure you subscribe to that notification bell. I'll be keeping y'all in the loop with this season as it does progress. And uh, we'll continue having some fun along the way and kind of trying to find some of those hidden Easter eggs that I was talking about. But uh, yeah, throughout the stream, we're going to be picking five random winners, each of which will be getting a ton of free stuff sent their way, in, including the premium pass plus 10 10 levels so this thing right over here a 10 dollar value usually a bunch of coins some new crates and all that stuff i'll have an exact list of what the giveaway is going to be most likely in the next last down earth video so keep an eye out on that but i do know that we're going to be doing that giveaway on this upcoming friday so looking forward to seeing y'all over there it's going to be a bloody awesome time i tell you and all right we got a bloody awesome time here lined up for ourselves so why don't we go ahead and set up to have that fun time i'm sorry my pointy stick you continue giving me good luck in my back pocket but for now it is time for us to put gas grenade to use we have ahead here one of these new enemies of which i slightly fear for being a pretty strong cookie let's destroy that spore mound up north and then hello spore spreader how do you do 100 damage that is what this puppy is capable of oh you're gassy ah too much gas at least his gas isn't as powerful as the freaking uh fungus coral reefs over here those things are a little bit deadlier those things literally reduce our maximum health the spore spreader does not appear to do that i do wonder if we might actually be able to avoid the spore spreaders ah i hate these things i do wonder if we might actually be able to avoid the spore spreaders attack by uh whatchamacallit by having a gas mask on or something i kind of want to put that to the test I, I think that might be one of the next things that we do next time we come over here we'll bring like a gas mask and see how that that does affect things so this not has not changed it appears to be the same i still gotta give the port a little bit of a closer look by the way i kind of uh forgot that i, I am i am looking I, I was i was supposed to be looking for new people potentially showing up so we'll go ahead and do that but first things first we got some more spore runners over here to go ahead and uh, clear out we might for this kind of like upcoming group of zombies i'm gonna just try to get everyone together for like a little group photo say cheese yeah but uh the cheese is going to be deadly gas that destroys spore zombies what can i say i'm a photographer with unique methods hello mr desk i i like your chest i'll go ahead and take that am i allowed to say that that seems like a strange thing to say <laughs> and all right um this pistol's also on the brink of destruction i should just set these two up for a little wombo combo here hold up did i get the the contents of these uh, i don't believe i did okay let's go ahead and do that before we go and clear out these next few zombies bada boom bada bang i don't really care about those things uh, too much we do have this chest we got this spore runner coming our way i gotta go ahead and craft up a hatchet so again come in here 
with some resources for hatchets or just with the hatchets outright definitely a good idea like we blew through i think two hatchets the first time around uh so like two to three hatchets just to be safe because like i think there were two chests that were like kind of rooted up like this and then two doorways we had to chop down if i'm not mistaken maybe things change this time around too because this is kind of like the responsible version of the event we are no longer visiting the story version which was our first exposure while we are knocking out that mission with chris this is uh lone wolf style baby but we still get in the vials we still get in the prizes that we do like to see and uh okie dokie let's make sure that we get that bit of a harder hitting weapon over here and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls wish me luck we're gonna be rounding them up baby round them up cowboy we gonna be round them up real good how you doing there shambler you are a terrifying thing i must tell you but please gather around gather around shamblers come one come all we are putting these grenades to the test baby even for you farty boy mcbee mcgee okay hold up mr man on the dock too wakey wakey eggs and bakey baby oh yeet oh my god i'm starting to smell so bad oh yeet oh let's go and yeet okay the shambler definitely appears to be able to uh uh, uh okay they're dead now shambler appears to be a little bit more resistant to the gas grenade it does not do the full 100 damage but for the sake of science i'm actually really happy that we now know how to do this or not that we know like the facts those gas grenades do 100 damage to everything that they touch except ourselves we we are safe from that and hello sport runner how you doing please don't no need to get up please continue taking your nap if anything i'll make your nap a little bit more uh permanent hope you don't mind what about over here inside of this chest let's get it i mean dude i seriously don't mind just kind of being able to collect a few of these delivery boxes for i mean pretty much just cleared out these locations definitely a nice bonus that we aren't just getting season items but we are getting other things on top of that here is the second chest of which i did spoke and with a few more pokes that thing is now nice and open although if i'm not mistaken let's go in and see what we got here hey you got another one of those puppies if i'm not mistaken if this is the version of the village from ye olden times shouldn't there be a sewer entrance somewhere oh like in this house if i'm not mistaken do they like cover that up or, or something like that is that maybe the sewer entrance i don't know what's going on there's a torture chair suspiciously enough but I don't know, man. There do be some sketchy thingy-majigs going on around these parts. Hello, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. What does the spore mound actually do? It, it appears like it farts. So I actually don't need to be shooting that thing. Because, like, it didn't really do much damage to us at all. It does a little bit of damage if you linger around. But actually not bad. So not even worth shooting those things. Just go ahead and give it a quick poke. You know, just poke it. Oh, I could have po pointy stick ganged it. Oh, man, that's a shame. Okay, well, I do smell really bad. This location is definitely not uh, sponsored by Old Spice or Axe or something like that. Although it could definitely use uh, such a sponsorship because whoo, 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 catch a whiff of that. It smells so freaking bad here. But we just got to do like a quick run around that we haven't missed anything. We do need to come back. Uh, man, if I had another gas grenade, I would actually toss it into the pond. So next time we come here, I'm going to bring the gas grenade and the other grenade too. Oh, no. Okay, well, I got hit by that. I'm going to bring... Oh, okay, got hit by that too. I'm going to bring the gas grenade and a normal grenade because those fish inside that pond, they look kind of messed up, dude. Something ain't right. Like, hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something's not right. Something's not right with those fish. Something's definitely significantly wrong. And uh, whatever that is, I don't know. They appear to be zombified, infected, sporified, whatever you want to call it. Let's start making our way back over here to port location. We're going to hit this with the three auto clears and see what we can get out of here as well again similar location respawns every 12 hours as you do knock it out again you can go there to knock out the quest that ava gives us and also it's a great way to be collecting samples and the like and contributing towards the process of researching this antidote this abomination i just go ahead this was a little bit more expensive clocking in at five rations uh, per hit but nonetheless we'll go ahead and knock it out a lot of brains dude if anything i felt i feel like brains were kind of the hardest to get but we're getting a lot of brains from this location. Let's go. I'll take that big brain. Big brain play. Um, and yeah, 450 samples per thing too. So not too shabby on that side of things either. Y'all can see in terms of our progress. We're doing pretty all right. All about halfway towards unlocking this thing. We are going to be copying the premium pass for ourselves too. And with that, the reanimator will be coming our way as well. <laughs> I am very excited to try that thing out, dude. Like seriously, that is like one of the new mechanics that have been added. Not mechanic. Well, it's kind of a new mechanic, but it's also like a new item. A little bit of both, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I also do want to check out for the sake of science these zombies for this quest um because ava 
I'm kind of a little bit bummed. We can't do multiple Ava quests at once. That would have been super handy because we literally killed two spore spreaders. But I wonder if spore spreaders... Now we have those vile spore spreading creatures roaming about. So I wonder if we could actually encounter those in normal locations as well. And hey, this military man! How you doing, dude? Hold up, dude. I wonder if like kind of throughout the season, we'll kind of like round up a bunch of people that we've encountered throughout the times. And oh, that could actually be kind of cool. And they'll kind of like make their way over to this location. Maybe, dude, maybe that is how we get a crew to man this boat. And dude, I mean, that boat is obviously something to be going on with that. Again, future season shaping up perfectly right there. But uh, yeah, definitely some interesting stuff going on. I'm just kind of like taking a quick peek, making sure that there's not nobody new or nothing like that. I have heard also, we are going to have to put this to the test too. So make sure that y'all are sticking around and subscribe to that notification bell. All that good jazz. I do believe I've heard that these keys and the sunken crates give better stuff now i don't know room around the street we'll go ahead and give that a look this thing is still to be soon this place used to be the leading research center all sorts of things happening here test a new weapon and armor prototype experiments with the infected hopefully they have nothing to do with the collapse anyway we'll find it all out very soon indeed indeed also another thing that i'm kind of excited that i do want to point out really quickly is about some of the new armor and stuff that we kind of are low-key seeing because like if you look over here Right? She's kind of rocking what appears to be a hazmat suit with reinforced plates on top of it. So if y'all don't know, that was actually an update that was added like a, like multiple years ago, actually, was the ability to reinforce your armor similar to this, like the reinforced beanie, reinforced jacket, that type of stuff. And there was actually mock-ups and sketches for being able to reinforce tactical body armor and SWAT armor. However, that has not yet come to fruition, but low-key, we're kind of seeing what appears to be that actual mock-up that's what the reinforced plating for like my armor would have looked like from some of the sketches so kind of interesting to see that that might be something that we might actually get personal access to sometime too especially the hazmat armor that would be huge especially potentially going into this laboratory i would love to be rocking some hazmat armor that we reinforce ourselves instead of having to go full out with the seaburn armor but then on top of that too it also does look like some of these guys actually are rocking reinforced swat armor like for example, this guy looks like he has SWAT armor underneath, but then reinforced plates on top. And dude, that'd be so cool because SWAT armor is already the second best armor in the game. If we reinforce that, we might be able to kind of get Kevlar quality armor from SWAT armor and maybe SWAT quality armor from reinforcing military armor. So kind of a few cool things I want to go in and point out really quickly that I did notice uh, too, as we kind of like get a lot of encounters here with Genesis. But let's just go and see if we can potentially find these spore spreaders of which I uh, do. Uh, speak but definitely interesting 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 things happening but let me know what y'all think about that as well let me know what y'all do think about this kind of like little armor thing that we kind of started noticing a little bit and what y'all think of this new location and the two new spore infected zombies that we have encountered as well let's just go ahead and pop on over here to the point where to see what's the whiteness in that i imagine that's where these potential enemies might be awaiting but uh yeah go to limit over that comment section down below always looking forward to hearing what y'all do have to say especially whenever there's new stuff like this to talk about to get hyped about to discuss and to potentially break down for what is coming in the future so go to let me know all about what y'all think about that armor how it may or may not come into implementation personally i think seriously like being able to reinforce hazmat armor could actually be a huge part of the laboratory once that thing does open up seriously like the laboratory y'all y'all notice all this spores and crazy stuff going on i feel like we're gonna have to protect ourselves you know and hello we got a little fan club coming what's up toxic spitters how you doing not who i'm looking for though where oh where are the infected zombies eh eh they gotta be somewhere okay it appears that there are a few of them protecting this chest over here oh there you go there's the spore spread up, baby. So it does appear that they can't actually be found protecting these uh, places. So definitely uh, worthy of noting right there, ladies and gentlemen. I, I well, We're going to have to see if we find the other fellas. But it does appear that these uh, spore spreaders can be found protecting these chests. I don't know about the ramblers or the shamblers, or whatever their name was. But these guys definitely you can not get. So just kind of a little bit of a heads up. And unless we find the shamblers in this location, you can knock out the spore spreaders from normal locations. But the shambler, ramblers, whatever you want to call them, 
<laughs> I believe those might be a little bit more exclusive, so to speak, uh, to the new location itself. Now, hopefully there should be like a second chest in this location. Usually there have been two chests spawning per location. So we're going to see if maybe like each of the chests have a different kind of big zombie protecting it or what the dealio might be with that. Hello, Toltic Spitter. But definitely the Shambler Rambler is pretty cool, dude. Like, I mean, he's obviously a little bit of a tough cookie, right? And yeah, okay, it does appear that we actually have another sports spreader coming our way. And he continues to love, he has a love of farting. As y'all can see, I'm exercising his love uh, over here in this location. And we're going to go ahead and exercise my love for loot by chopping down these stupid roots and getting into the good stuff of the chest. Yes, yes, oh, yes, baby. And uh, we still got these fellas over here to go ahead and take down. And that is a completed quest, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I do kind of like this, though, because now there's a fourth zombie protecting these, which means I get to kill more spore zombies, which means more samples and more body parts. Woo! Love to see it. I sound like a freaking serial killer, dude. More body parts. Yay! <laughs> Such is life. Uh, but yeah, there y'all have it. We got another quest knocked out from Ava. The last one was just chopping out trees. I'll just go ahead and knock that out in my free time. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got some personal progress to be making. We got some freaking crazy, like, zombie fish to be fishing for. And I wonder what the new recipes with those might be for. I wonder if maybe Ava sends us on a quest to find those fish or if there's actually some kind of, like, crazy recipe we might be able to do. I don't know if I'd want to eat zombified fish, but who knows, man? Might be some kind of crazy apocalyptic cuisine of some sort that is discovered by apocalyptic peoples or something like that. I don't entirely know. We'll see, but yeah. But yeah, back to what I was saying, like, I don't know, the Shambler, Rambler, Bamblers, they're, I, I kind of love them, like, from a design standpoint. It's kind of cool to have, like, a relatively armored enemy that kind of, like, absorbs a little under half of the damage. It's, like, decently heavy hitting. Like, I just love seeing, like, variety and zombies and stuff that make for more unique situations that you have to scheme around. So kind of cool to be seeing those. Hopefully, you continue seeing them. And this also might be a sneak peek of the zombies that we're going to be seeing inside of the laboratory. Because you got to imagine the spore stuff, like, looks like it came from the laboratory. So when we start clearing the laboratory, you gotta imagine that uh, these fellas are kind of gonna be at the core of it all so we got some cool stuff kind of further unveiling itself with each and every one of the legs of this season unlocking but with that said with that uh, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is gonna go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of last day on earth thank you guys a whole to for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya